Hey folks, how y'all doing? Welcome back. And uh, we've got our V-War battery uh, that, that we use here at the house in case we have a power outage. We had a power outage and we're down to 19%. Sun is shining and I've got a V-War solar panel. And uh, we're going to lay that solar panel. This thing is huge. Wait till you see it. And uh, we're going to see how well, how fast it'll charge up that battery pack, which is also from V-War. We'll take a look at both of them, show you, and we'll set it up and just see, you know, how well does it work? I'll tell you what, these things are becoming more and more popular, especially the battery packs, but uh, having something to charge them up, especially if you got an extended power failure, <laughs> this, this is the answer right here. Well, let's get started. All right, Vivor.com, that's where you get these things. And you see, you, you can use it for multiple things. This thing does weigh like 16 pounds. So there's a fair amount of weight there. They're saying it's compatible with many different types. Uh, I know it's going to work with the uh the vivor products and uh they don't well, hang on i don't want to do that and uh, they s just hang on let's see i know you want to see the price don't you so this is uh 175 bucks it is a 200 watt and it does have come with an instruction manual and uh different type of cables meaning all these different types of cables and these are just for different products that you can uh, plug it in. Uh, we're gonna be using uh, this cable today, which plugs right into our Viver, Vivor battery pack right here, right there where you see, you see it says input. Now let's take that outside and uh, take a look at it. Nice thing when you go to Vivor.com, and I know I said it's short, but I just wanna show it. They, they give you all the dimensions, they give you all the capacities, and so that if you're going to use this, you, can, uh, you know what you're getting before you buy it. All right, now let's go unfold it and uh, hook it up and see how long it takes. This thing is uh, down to, I think I showed you, it's, it's almost dead. I had power out just started with an actual spring snowstorm just the, uh, just the other day and uh, actually yesterday. And I said the power is supposed to come on later today. I'm down to 19%. And I have been using this uh, for my iPads and my cell phone and uh, I actually had this plugged in the refrigerator and, I, and that's probably what I took about uh, the most of it, but I was able to run the refrigerator for about 45 minutes and got it good and cold in there and uh, the freezer ran too, so I was pretty impressed with that. And that's the battery pack in case you're interested. I'll leave a link down below to review I did on that. All right, got it set up there in the sun. Even on a cloudy day, this is gonna work. They've got these nice stands in the back that you can adjust. You can see them right there. There's three of them. And I have them adjusted here to trying to optimize the angle with the sun. Got it plugged in here. And it says, I don't know if you can see that. It says that it's gonna take about two hours to charge. And, uh, but it is charging and that is impressive. So keep on going, give you a couple of looksies. All right, folks, we're about a half an hour in. I don't know if you can see that, but we're bringing in about 103 watts and uh, we're approaching 50% charged. All right, folks, uh, shy of an hour here, we're up to almost 60 percent on our battery and i've been playing with the angle that to see if i could up the watts remember this is 200 watts and right now the best i can seem to get out of it is i've been as high as 110 but it seems to like that uh 104 105 area uh maybe it's the angle you you can't adjust the angle of that but uh, right now 104 watts but it is working i don't know if you can see that but i got nine minutes left we are 110 now on uh so i must have got it better in the sun and we're 96 percent so the thing works i mean this was a solid two hours you know it doesn't get to the 200 watts they say it's supposed to you know, 110 as you just saw was the highest that i've seen it at but it does work a lot faster than some of the smaller ones i've tried in the past uh but it, it, it will charge up battery pack would be great for camping uh great for power outages uh and it's reasonably priced Time works for YouTube. I'll leave the link down below where you can get this at vivor.com. Thanks for watching, folks.